Today I'm going to show you a messy, a version of like a messy bum type updo. And what's great about it is that it's uh, it's formal in the sense that it's an updo. It's got a modern edge, and that's what we're all about. That's what I'm all about, anyway. I think you could probably do this in. 20 minutes. It sounds crazy, <laughs> but once you've got good at it, I think it's totally doable. First thing I want to do is create some texture in the hair. So I'm going to get like a wide barrel tong, about an inch in diameter. You leave the root and the end out and you get a more messy, sort of undone, relaxed wave. And then I'm just going to work around the head. Now, I'm only going to tong the top section because the underneath is going to go into the updo anyway. I'm taking quite a casual approach to it because we want the hair looking casual. So we've got a nice messy texture. I'm then going to take dry shampoo. We'll give you some really nice guts at the root. This is Redkin's Pillow Proof Dry Shampoo. Love this. It's really oil absorbing. Doesn't really make the hair too white. You have to hold it back a bit from the hair and just kind of spray in like this. And this will just give your roots some guts. Because I want the messy sort of bump to sit at the back, I'm gonna backcomb the back of the hair. Just to, what backcombing does is it acts like a bit of a pin cushion for the hair. You backcomb that so that really holds the pins and grips in place. So I'm gonna work from the nape here and I'm gonna backcomb into the hair. Now, where you backcomb, what you can do is, hairspray is really good. Another a Redkin hairspray here I've got. Spray a little hairspray in at the root, then backcomb it, and that becomes like your pin cushion. Good backcombing, good updo. Bad backcombing, bad updo. So, <laughs> your, back, your backcombing is like, you know, everything. So it's like your foundation. So there we have the beginnings of like the shape happening. Now I want the sides to come back, so I'm going to sort of directionally backcomb them this sort of way. I'm only doing a little bit here because this just helps hold it in place. That's what makes it modern, these kind of pieces that are out, which are really sort of fly away and pretty. I'm going to take the tong again and just, I mean you can cut any of these corners if you don't, you know, you won't need to do all of these steps, but I'm just like I say, I'm being very thorough. And then I'm just going to kind of go over the top section and maybe just tong a few more bits. It needs to look quite textured and messy. Now I'm going to use the Cool Girl Spray, which is by Sam McKnight, which is great. I'm just going to put a load of that in just to give it a matte feeling and some nice texture. By accident, I'd have left once the hair over the ear and realised actually that looks really cool. So hair over the ear is actually sometimes quite a modern look. Sometimes it can be quite hard, like over the ear like that. So. Sometimes just relaxed. So then at the back, I'll, di I'll divide the back into three. So I'll take these two sides, and I'm gonna move them there. I always think these grips are a really good way to sort of keep an updo in really easily. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this middle section, so we've divided it in three at the back, and you can really do this without kind of, because most girls can do one bun on themselves. So you're just doing three buns in a sense. So we take this first one and we twist it. and we kind of turn it into a, a little bun at the back. One little messy bun at the back. And then we get grips. And you can really feel your way around this because you'll be doing it on yourself, obviously. You can leave it, leave it quite messy. And then we're going to come to one side, pull it back. And again, wrap it into another small little bun at the back. And keeping the sides quite tight is, makes it look more youthful. If you make the sides big, it can go a bit, I often use the reference, it can go a bit sort of Princess Leia and it look a bit sort of too wide and that can be a bit dated. So we're gonna do the same again this side, we're gonna pull this all back. It twists into itself and looks very chic. And then once you've got the hairspray, sort of push it together and sort of mould it into what you want it to be. If it looks like you've done it yourself, that is cool. That's what makes it quite good, I think. 
And then once it's sort of done, just keep working it, and making it tighter and working it into itself. And then when you look at the front, you can sort of pull the top looks good with some height, so you can pull bits out then. And it should sort of be tighter at the sides with a bit of height on top. It should be fluffy. I want, you know, hair should have texture and fluffiness. This is what's so, you know, you see on a lot of catwalk is this kind of, in the light, this sort of fluff, which I think back in the day would have been like, oh my God, your hair's fluffy. And now it's like, yeah, this texture's good. It's like, that's what's so great about modern hairdressing now is that there are no rules. I think this looks great on you. How do you feel? It feels amazing. It is great. And you just keep adding grips to it. Maybe put a few grips in your bag throughout the day if you want to like add a bit more. Gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome, my pleasure.